In this video, we're going to look at the steps of the cell cycle. And so um, this is basically the life cycle of the cell. So we'll start by looking at this um, kind of phase called interphase. And interphase is characterized by the cell just being a cell and doing what the cell is doing. And there are actually kind of like three subphases to interphase. We've got the G1 phase, which is known as the first gap phase. And that's where the G comes from. It's also helpful to think of this as a growth phase. So even though the G technically stands for gap, I like to think of it as the first growth phase. That is followed by the S phase, which stands for synthesis. And what's happening during synthesis is that DNA is being replicated. So the DNA is being copied. And this is where your single bar-like chromosomes get converted into looking like X-shaped chromosomes. Um, and that's because these are the, the two arms are the two sister chromatids. And then the third phase is the G2 phase, which is the second gap phase, which once again is just another growth phase. After interphase, we have something called the mitotic phase. And not all cells go through the mitotic phase. So there's actually um, kind of a, a side phase called the G0 phase. All right, so the, the G0 phase is where a cell is not preparing to divide. So it's just being a cell and um, it's not going to be going through the mitotic phase. So cell not preparing for mit mitosis. All right, some cells never go in the G0 phase. Some cells go in it temporarily and other cells go into it permanently. So it just kind of depends on the cell and what the function of that cell is as to whether it's gonna go through mitosis or not. But circling back around to the mitotic phase, the mitotic phase is made up of, a, of several other phases that we can um, kind of abbreviate as PP, MAT, C. And what those letters stand for are prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. Now these first five phases here are um, really what we call mitosis. And what's really happening is that the chromosomes in the cell, in the, in the nucleus of the cell, um, are getting kind of moved around and pulled around, and those sister chromatids ultimately are pulled apart. So remember that your chromosomes are kind of these x shape here, and what happens is that one of the arms gets pulled in one direction, and the other arm gets pulled in another direction. And ultimately, you're going to end up with some of these chromosomes in one kind of new daughter cell being produced. The other chromosome is going to go into a second daughter cell that's produced. So mitosis is really the um, kind of the division of the nucleus and the genetic material in it. So the chromosomes are also getting divided up. And more specifically, we should say the sister chromatids are separated from each other. In cytokinesis, the rest of the cell gets divided. So the cell membrane pinches in and divides the, the original cell into two daughter cells.
All right, so the PP mat is the, the chromosomes and the nucleus um, dividing into two new nuclei, and then the cytokinesis separates the cell into two separate cells, each one containing that new nucleus. And then um, in some cells, this cycle restarts, because remember a cycle is an ongoing uh, process. So sometimes after cytokinesis, the cells um, then go back into interphase and they go through these steps again and again. So I have this picture here that maybe help, will help you um, kind of visualize what's happening during these steps of the cell cycle. So um, first of all, this kind of bigger area here is going to be our interphase. And the smaller wedge is the mitotic phase. And you might want to draw a little arrow to kind of help you um, remember the direction of this phase. So the mitotic phase is basically going in this direction and interphase is going in this direction here. All right, so the cycle is happening uh, clockwork. So we'll start with the G1. So remember that the G1 phase um, is also known as the first gap phase or as I like to call it, the first growth phase. Because really what the cell is doing is that it is growing and it is preparing for DNA replication. So if you think about what the cell needs in order to go through DNA replication, it is making the enzymes needed, it's gathering nucleotides, and it's gathering nutrients so that it can ultimately make ATP because we need all of these things for the next phase to occur. The second phase is known as the S phase. And the S stands for synthesis. And synthesis means to make something. In this case, we're making a new copy of DNA. So this is, um, it could also, in my opinion, be called the R phase, because this is where DNA replication is occurring. So remember up here in the first um, gap phase, our chromosomes are single bars. All right, so we've got 23 of these bar-like chromosomes. During the S phase, those um, kind of single bar chromosomes get converted into that kind of X shape. And what that X shape is, remember, are the two sister chromatids. So you've got one, two, that make up the chromosomes now. So now instead of having 46 of these um, kind of bar-shaped chromosomes, you have 46 of these X-shaped chromosomes now. During the next phase, we have our G2, which is our second gap, or as I like to call it, the second growth phase. And during this phase, the cell is preparing for mitosis. All right, so once again, it's going to be making things like enzymes, it's going to be collecting nutrients to make ATP um, and just overall preparing for this, the, uh, the division of the nucleus in the cell to occur. That then takes us into the mitotic phase. So during the mitotic phase, um, remember we've got our PP mat C. So the first one is going to be prophase, followed by prometaphase. followed by metaphase, then anaphase, telophase, 
and cytokinesis. During the first five phases, you have the sister chromatid separating. So the X-shaped chromosomes, each one um, separates, so you now are back to having these rod-shaped chromosomes. The nucleus also divides to form two new nuclei. And then in cytokinesis, this is where the whole cell, so the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the other organelles, all of those things divide. So the rest of the cell divides. And then the cycle starts all over. Now, some cells do not go through this phase over and over again. So some cells don't ever divide again, and some of them might divide again, but they might not do it for a while. So there's actually kind of an offshoot called the G0 phase, um, and we can kind of draw that in here. And so this is the, um, basically the phase that is, it's also called the quiescent phase or the resting phase. Now, I don't really like calling it the resting phase because the cell is very much active. It's very much doing what a cell is supposed to be doing. So it's making proteins, it's performing its functions, depending on what the cell is. Um, the quiescence or the resting just refers to the fact that it's not going um, through the rest of the cell cycle. So it's not preparing to divide. Um, so DNA replication might not be happening, um, and the mit mitotic phases might not happen anytime soon. So it's not a true resting phase because the cell is still active doing what it should be doing, um, but it's not preparing to divide again. And some cells go into the G0 phase forever, and meaning that they will never divide again. Other cells, it's just a temporary phase, and eventually they'll get some sort of uh, cellular signal to start um, preparing to divide and dividing again.